All right, so this is Kenny Santos out of Toronto, Canada for KennySantos.com. Let's talk about uh, a little bit about the true power of the law of reciprocity. And the whole reason why I'm bringing this up is because I was uh, surfing on the internet, as most people do, and I saw uh, an uplifting picture, and it was a picture of a gas station. I mean, that's, that sounds pretty inspiring so far, right? Um, actually, it was a picture of the back or the 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 back or the roof of a gas station but it was the view from a hospital window and it just said get well soon now i want you guys to think about this for a moment this gas station they put up the sign that says get well soon it was a hospital actually it was a a hospital for kids cancer kids with cancer and how do you think that reflects in their business do you think it's possible that the parents of those children when they leave the hospital, if they have a choice of which gas station to go to, and let's pretend that, you know what, the the other gas stations are just as close. Maybe they're just across the street from each other, or maybe they're side by side. Which gas station do you think they're gonna go to? Let's say the price is the same, everything's the same. Which gas station are they going to go to? The one that said get well soon, that they could see from their window, or the other one? And the chances are they're going to go to the one that says get well soon. Now, even if the gas is more expensive for the one that says get well soon, they still might get more business simply because people like them. And the law of reciprocity really... let, Let me... Let me explain that. I wrote this down earlier. Have you ever noticed that you feel compelled to do something for people who have helped you even if they haven't even asked. I mean, the gas station, they didn't ask, and I don't know if they really get more business, but I assume that they do, all right? And the favor that you return to them, even if they didn't ask for it, is much larger than the favor that they gave to you. And you wanna keep this in mind because most of the people that read my blog posts or that watch my videos, they're entrepreneurs. Many of them are in the network marketing profession. And network marketers are really famous for bugging everyone until they give in and that simply doesn't work and you know what I think that maybe it used to work but it certainly doesn't work anymore and for the people that it does work for you make so many enemies all along the way that it just isn't worth it so what I invite you to do is just to become their friend and figure out how you could serve them and if serving them means referring them to another person or something like that then then do so. If it's just talking to them, if it's uh, serving them, um, if it's just, um, even if it's just giving them some advice or just connecting with them. You know what, if I walk into someone's office right now, some of you guys know that I love my my tomatoes, right? I, I've been gardening this whole summer, but if I walk into someone's office, I find out they, that they grow tomatoes too, I'm probably gonna talk to them about tomatoes. I'm gonna say, well, which cherries do you like the most? Oh, you know what, I like the sweet cherry 100s. Uh, between all my plants, I probably get between 35 and 70 fruits a day from each plant. And you know what? I like to taste them when they're still warm from the sun. And when I taste them, oh my goodness, it tastes so incredible. They're so sweet. They're so juicy. It's like an explosion of flavor. What what tomatoes do you like? And maybe the next time I see them, I might bring them some of my favorite tomatoes and we might reciprocate. And that really creates a friendship and what a friendship does is this that they may not necessarily buy your big enchilada package if you're part of the network marketing company but if they like you they're going to want to buy something maybe they'll try your product for a month and who knows what that could turn into they may love your product and turn into a distributor they may drop it or maybe they just might refer you more people or come christmas time when you call them up and say hey listen you know what uh, you know i'm part of so-and-so company you know some of my products make some great christmas presents is there any how many do you need me to sign you up for how, how many how many do we need here because i'm putting a delivery in for december and i might say you know what didn't think of that kenny but you know what i'm gonna need three And they may not even know who they're giving them to yet, but they just need, you know, three boxes of chocolate or whatever you're selling or, you know, what special soaps or hand cream or whatever it is. They may just buy some for the month. And that law of reciprocity can really um, can really further your business in ways that you don't even expect. And so make friends with people. Leverage that law of reciprocity, because whatever you give out. It comes back in buckets. I know that I've done blog posts before on making sure that you give to charity or if you don't give to charity, give to the homeless. Give something away. You're going to get it back in buckets. And that improves you. That includes 
your goodwill and good energy. Trust you got some awesome value out of this. What I invite you to do is to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Also, if you want to see more videos just like this, go over to my blog. It's KennySantos.com. Put your name and email in and get an awesome audio and grow in your business. All right, take care and create a great day.